All right, let's go over the problems. Uh, let's go. Q1, number of good pairs. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let me know what you think. Uh, I finally did well in this contest, so pretty happy about it, uh, relatively. But yeah, number of good pairs. So this one is just actually brute force, right? So the first thing to notice is that n is 100. So that means that you can get away with n squared, or even worse if you really need to, but in the, I don't think you do. Um, and n squared will do fine, where you just loop over the possible i's and j's, and just check for this condition. Uh, and that's what I did. I I guess I could label these i's and j's, but yeah, uh, and you could you could even start from zero and just making sure that i is less than j and put it if you really need to, uh, and then just increment it as the conditions are true. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for the video portion of this, <laughs> or me doing it during the contest. Uh, cool. Q1, number of good pairs. So the thing about this one was, um, I mean, I did it pretty quickly. I, I did it in 56 seconds, it seems like. Uh, and, well, it is just what it, you just do two for loops, and then as long as they're not, I mean, you just do two for loops and make sure that the indexes are um, together, and also making sure that you go one way. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, <laughs> I feel like while I was doing it, I was a little bit rushed or a lot rushed. Uh, and there are people who did it in 29 seconds. So, um, so definitely very impressive. Uh, like I'm typing as fast as I can. Uh, maybe I could have used the <laughs> a little bit uh, better. And but that said, you know, I'm not going to try to save five seconds by not running tests and checking it because that might cost you five minutes and it's 